Well, if you found this video, you're probably in panic mode trying to get your generator started because the lights went out and you're in the dark. The problem with these generators is what makes them so good. They sit fuel, which means they have a tiny, tiny fuel jet in them. I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. Look at split. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a garbage wrap tie. Yeah, that, that's the most important part of this job. Eight millimeter socket with a ratchet. I have a very light duty impact here, so I don't break anything. 10 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and a large flathead to take the outside body apart. Let's get cracking. So, first thing we're gonna do, take the cover off. Next thing we have to do is remove the air box. So we're going to remove these two 5 16th or 8 millimeter bolts. That bolt hidden right there behind the air filter. Take this to the side. These fuel lines here, one's, one's for the vent, one's for your drain cock, and you have this fuel line right here. Take that off right there. Take your air box screw, put it in the hose so your fuel doesn't leak out. I drained my fuel so I wouldn't have a mess to clean up, but if you have fuel in your generator, there will be fuel there. Next, we're going to remove the cap that holds the solenoid plug in. Now, we'll remove this plug. And we have our carburetor. Take your 10 millimeter. 10, mil 10 millimeter wrench. With a clean work area. Put that aside. With your fingers, take out your float pin. Now a lot of times the dirt can get built up in here, so give this a little squirt with some brake cleaner, but if you're in an emergency, you don't have it, that's okay, because that's not where the problem's at. Problem is right down here. If you don't have these products and it's an emergency, use some dish soap and some water, use some gasoline, whatever you have, as a cleaning agent just make sure it's good and dry before you put it back together you want to get a small flathead screwdriver remove your jets get a small disposable cup Take some penetrating fluid, soak them, leave them sit for five minutes, five minutes. So you're going to take your handy garbage wrap tie and you're going to clean all that sediment that gets built up in your gasoline. You're just going to run that right through there like that. See the small jets there? Just want to clean them out.
these generators are very fuel efficient, which is what essentially causes this problem because the jets are so small, it allows for sediment to build up. All right. Clean it off. Insert back in. Don't over tighten it, just make it snug. Put your float back in. Re reinstall your pin. Attach your float bolt. Install your float bolt. Screw on your float bolt retaining bolt. Don't over tighten it. Just snug it up. In reverse order. Plug in your solenoid. Install your cap. Slide in your carburetor. Get your bolt back. And then fuel line. Set it on the carburetor. Take your outer gasket. Make sure you have it on the right way. Take your bolts. Install them back on. Insert your last bolt here. Put in your filter. And we're done. So right now you have no fuel in the fuel bowl, so you want to draw some in by turning it over in the off position. Because you have no fuel in the bowl in the off position, turn on your choke, leave it off. Give it a few pulls, it'll it'll get a bit of vacuum going, so it'll draw some fuel into that, that carburetor. you out some you can let us know in the comments down below another thing that really helps us out is when you hit that subscribe button that will be right there you can watch another video right around here when you get your power back on until the next time folks peace